All right. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Sergey. I run a service called BitRefill. Uh, we connect uh, Bitcoin to the world of prepaid mobile phones. Now, uh, in America, most people are on subscription plans. But on a worldwide scale, three quarters of all mobile phones in the world are prepaid. The prepaid balance is like the most widespread digital type of currency that there is. <laughs> and it's already being used for international remittances, for uh, uh, sending little gifts to people, uh, paying for things, and things like that. And so what Bitrefill does uh, is we have a website, which we'll see soon, where, where users in 127 countries can convert Bitcoin into prepaid phone credits. And we also have an API in which we let companies uh, in the Bitcoin space or otherwise uh, that in some way hold user funds and want to let users withdraw money to 127 uh, countries uh, do that uh, at a 0% added fee, uh, which is the, the really, uh, really cool part. Thank you. Show us about it. And it works in America too for those who are pre paid. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Flavian. I'm the CEO and founder of Coin Prism. Uh, Coin Prism is a wallet for Colored Coins. So, for those who don't know, Colored Coins is about uh, it's a technique where you take a small fraction of a Bitcoin, tag it with some metadata using off return, and then that kind of represents uh, any kind of asset, could be gold. Uh, could be currencies or you know investment like a crowd sale. So Coin Prism is a wallet that lets you send, receive, and create the colored coins. Um, and we also have an API. Um, so if you want to build applications uh, using colored coins, you can use the API. And we are, have also open source software called Color Core. And we have a protocol called Open Assets. So you can check that out on openassets.org. Um, Corbin, I'm co-founder of Foldapp. Let you save 20% at Starbucks when you use Bitcoin uh, and other stores, Target and Whole Foods and a bunch of places. Some of you don't understand how that happens. I know because Nathan actually tweeted Eric Voorhees about why that's the case. If you want a free coffee, uh, come talk to me. Um, and yeah, try it out at, at foldapp.com. Thank you. My name is Greg Slepak. Um, I've been noticing something in the cryptocurrency community dialogue. It's this uh, usage of the terms distributed and decentralized. And I just wanted to um, make a comment on that. A lot of what people call, seem to call the virtues of cryptocurrencies, they sometimes use the word distributed. But um, if we look at what the difference between YouTube and, say, Alexandria is, as Devin was talking about earlier, um, what, what is the virtue of Alexandria over YouTube? Is it that it's distributed? Um, YouTube is also distributed across the planet. That term has a definition. It just means usually uh, copies distributed around multiple places of something, of data in this case. The real value from Alexandria comes from the fact that it's decentralized. And the OK Turtles Foundation is a nonprofit that supports beneficial decentralization technologies like Alexandria. Like, um, doing reviews of protocols, just uh, promoting it via media, et cetera. And we're gonna be doing a crowdfund soon. We're gonna incentivize the top five donors uh, with one of these aluminum bitseed boxes that comes with Namecoin and DNS chain being installed. Thank you. My name is Katarina. I'm doing community engagement with Swarm. We started out doing crowdfunding in a way that gave you equity, not just a Kickstarter type of arrangement. 
and we are evolving now to giving you a platform in which you can launch your own organization that will include a community built in there as well as crowdfunding tools and it's uh, distributed and as well as and centralized. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of these posters I'd love to give you. Uh, we're spending the next week and a half trying to get people a sort of an education campaign to collect pledges and to get people to create their own DCO or join another DCO project. So come and talk to me. I have stickers and I have posters. Thank you. founder of Gamerholic.com. Um, one thing that's obvious is that in the Bitcoin community, you need to have a certain level of IQ to even understand what the hell was just said here today, <laughs> right? What I do is dumb it down. I make it so you get, to win, you get to win Bitcoins playing video games. It's really easy. Folks are already used to winning points in video games. You transition those points over to Bitcoin, and they don't know the difference. So in this arcade, um, it's like going to the arcade back in the day. You put in your 25 cents to play. Your job is just to get on the leaderboard. Each time someone fails to beat your score, you get some of their 25 cents. You can be asleep, you can be at work. As long as you're on the leaderboard, you're earning Bitcoin each time someone fails to beat your score. We also have our own coin, Gamer Holla Coin, which is a copy of um, Bitcoin. It is traded on Bittrex right now. We don't claim to be better than Bitcoin. We don't claim to do anything that Bitcoin can't do. We're just a gaming coin um, that is perfect within the gaming space. We offer an API. There are a lot of things we can do on the education side for it. Thanks. John? You can go after. No problem. Hi, everyone. I work with a company called Bitseed, and we developed this little personal server. Um, Greg held up one of the limited edition versions that we're developing for the OK Turtles crowdfunding campaign. Um, but we started just building these for Bitcoin. So this is like a dedicated uh, plug and play Bitcoin full node that you can just plug into your router, plug into your wall, and with a few, within a few hours, it's fully synced with the Bitcoin network. Uh, we recently launched an assembly project so that designers and developers can help contribute to our open source software. Um, and also get financial uh, compensation for doing that. Uh, you can check out the product at bitseed.org and you can check out our assembly project if you want to help contribute at assembly.com slash bitseed. Thank you. Clever coin, not coin. Clever coin? Yeah. Clever coin. Oh, the website will soon be there. Hi, my name is Carsten. I am the founder of the European trading platform Clevercoin. You can't use it, sorry, but uh, still <laughs> <my ambition. laughs> um, uh, Let me ask you one question. Why, is, uh, why do people actually use Bitcoin nowadays? To be, to be honest, 90% of people use it for actually trading for profit. But why is exactly that so hard? You can buy Bitcoins on more and more places at the moment, but trading, you always end up using a way too hard trading platform. With this vision, we call it Clevercoin. Clevercoin bridges the gap between the brokerage and the trader by making trading easier than ever. We just launched, uh, all, uh, we, we have, lever we have uh, market and limited orders like you are used to, but we just also launched leverage trading in a way that people actually immediately understand the results of leverage trading. And we've been growing in the last, uh, what is it, two months, uh, months from 2,500 to uh, 8,000 users. That was it. Thanks. Um, on that point that Greg was saying about decentralized versus distributed, I'm actually working on a, on a kind of a new chart to describe the differences. So I guess that's a little lightning talk to look out for that. Because there is this one chart that is basically used in the Bitcoin space um, that I think is wrong. So. Um, Hopefully we can set things straight with better charts and visuals. So with that, uh, there's no more lightning talks. We have until 9.30 here, so feel free to hang out.